Hey everyone, Theo here. Today I'm reviewing this portable external SSD that's made for recording videos from phones. And this is the Fansiang PS2005. And this is a review sample provided by the company. The price for this very portable external storage is... The price for 500 gigabytes of storage capacity is 70 US dollars and for 1 terabyte is 120, for 2 terabyte is 200 US dollars. This is lightweight, just 46 grams, quite small, smaller than the very popular Samsung T7 SSD and it's not too thick, just 6.6 .6 millimeter. This is made to attach magnetically to the back of phones with MagSafe, such as iPhones. And if you want to use this with an Android phone, you need to get a case that has MagSafe compatibility. Because if you are using a phone without MagSafe, this is not going to attach. If you cannot find a MagSafe phone case for your Android phone, don't worry. Fansiang has included this magnetic ring that you can attach to the back of your Android phone and this will allow you to attach the SSD to the back of your phone but this will mean you have to stick this to the back of your phone or your phone case since the phone case I have supports MagSafe I don't have to use this the MagSafe attachment for this phone case is quite high but thankfully it doesn't actually block the telephoto lens now if you're using this with an iPhone you don't have to worry because the iPhone camera module is much higher Transfer speed is advertised to be USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2, not USB 3.2 Gen 2. There is actually a big difference. So the transfer speed is up to 2000 megabytes per second. The transfer speed for the USB C port on this S25 Ultra is actually USB 3.2 Gen 2, not USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2. So the transfer speed is half of this, so it's around. 1000 megabytes per second that is the advertised specification so let's take a look at the actual transfer speed so this is the cable that is provided this is i'll say quite thick looks durable it's rubberized the write speed from what i can see is 400 over megabytes per second and the read speed is also over 400 megabytes per second so this transfer speed is nowhere near the 2000 megabytes per second transfer speed that's advertised but this is still fast enough to record 4k videos from the phone to the ssd and unfortunately i do not have an iphone to test so i can't tell you the transfer speed on an iphone if you need even faster transfer speed you need to find a phone that supports usb 3.2 gen 2 times 2. this macbook pro that i have here supports thunderbolt 4 so the transfer speed is supposed to be two times faster compared to the SSD. However, I am only able to record over 900 megabytes per second read and write speeds. So this is half of the advertised speed you see here on the box. And the reason for that is because in order to get the maximum transfer speed, the USB-C port has to support USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2. So even if you have a computer that supports Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5, USB 4, you will not get the maximum speed. Your USB-C port specifically needs to support USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 I'm sorry I have to repeat this many times because this USB specification is actually not as common compared to USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4. If you want to record video from your phone to the SSD, you need to use a camera app that allows you to record video out from the USB-C port. And this app that I'm using is the Blackmagic camera app. I have to go into the settings to set the clips to save to the external SSD. And that is all you need to do. On an iPhone, you can record raw videos and those files are huge. So that's where having an external SSD will be useful because the maximum capacity for this is two terabytes and it's US $200. So you don't have to buy a huge storage capacity for the phone. You can buy a huge storage capacity for an external SSD, which is going to cost much lower. If you're thinking of using your phone with a phone clamp, this is not going to fit with the SSD behind. 
even without a phone case because uh, this is kind of thick so if you want to use this SSD with your phone you need to well have something else to hold on to the SSD so in this case I will need to attach another attachment to the top here so that oops uh, let me just turn this around yeah so that I can hold this SSD here somehow this setup is not perfect because I cannot grip this SSD properly and I have to bend this down so that the cable is long enough to reach the SSD so if you want to use a phone clamp you have to find some accessory that can let you attach or clamp onto the SSD tightly because this is a bit too loose for my personal preference alright to conclude this product works fine now in order to achieve the maximum transfer speed you need to use a phone and computer that supports USB 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 and the last thing I want to say is the company has also included this USB-C to USB-A adapter Alright, I hope this review is useful. If you guys are interested to buy this, purchase links are in the video description below.